Saturday, April 24th. Let's play the booster box game. Strixhaven, I whoa, this is a, this is a weird looking booster box. So, oh, that's because it's a set booster. That's right, starting with Strixhaven, draft booster boxes are extremely hard to come by. Why? Because Wizards of the Coast would prefer you to buy set booster boxes. Why? Because set booster boxes cost more money and have fewer packs. Therefore, one would assume are even cheaper to create. So, in order to encourage you to buy set boosters instead of draft boosters, Wizards of the Coast intentionally severely underprinted draft boosters and didn't even have them available at pre-release as they've always been. Hey, let's see what effect that had on the price of draft booster boxes. Oh my gosh, they're more expensive than set booster boxes. And they're more expensive than they've always been. Remember, you can go back through the booster box game for seven years now. I've been able to go down to my local game store and buy draft booster boxes for about a hundred dollars. But now I can't because no one has any. Well, actually, technically, all right, that's a little dramatic. There were two draft booster boxes at my local game store, but I really kind of wanted to leave them there so that somebody who wanted to buy them to play Magic the Gathering. You remember what that was like playing Magic the Gathering where it was like, oh, we made a new set for you to draft and play and everything. And I just fork over the cash and buy the set booster boxes. So this was $120 plus tax. Uh, and these are available on online marketplaces. I'm seeing them for about $115, so that'll be the goal. $115, hey, we got the list in here. What's the list? Nobody knows, by design. Let's open this up and see if we can get $115 in rares, mythics, mystic archive cards, foils, and those art cards. It's the booster box game! Remember, like always, I'm only going to count cards worth $2 or more. It's really not feasible to be selling 40 cent cards for this game. We've always done it at $2, and we're gonna continue there.
Wow, that sucked. Should we go down to our local game store and buy a $300 Strixhaven collector's booster box? No? Hey, did you know Channel Fireball is getting out of the singles market? Unrelated to anything we've just experienced, I just, I don't know why I brought it up, but Channel Fireball is, they're, they're, they're done doing the whole buying and selling singles thing direct as in themselves, and they're gonna open up a marketplace similar to TCG Player. But as far as their actual efforts to, you know, have magic cards, singles, they, they, they just kind of, they're, 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 they're saying, we're out of that now. That's interesting, it's an interesting thing. I'm interested in this. Hey, did you know I've been getting a lot of emails from a lot of local game store owners who are telling me that the allocation of draft booster boxes for Modern Horizons 2 is even smaller than what Strixhaven received. There's going to be even harder to come by draft booster boxes for Modern Horizons 2, but don't worry, there's plenty of collector's booster boxes for Modern Horizons 2. Isn't that great news? Hey, did you know Hasbro is going to be selling Magic the Gathering NFTs? That's right, we're going to look to have NFTs of Magic cards for sale and trade. The future looks bright. Many Magic the Gathering players have asked the question, what do you think about Hasbro selling NFTs of Magic cards? I will offer my thoughts and also pad out the runtime of this video on that now.
It's better.